good? What's good? All right. Welcome to G-Man Automotive. We out in West Haven, Connecticut on the Boston Post Road. This is one of our latest creations right here. It's an 06 Dodge Charger. Look at the wheels. Let me take you through a couple of things that we did with it. First, we did the wheels, the 22 inch of Harvest wheels. They're staggered. Notice how the lip in the front is smaller than the lip in the back. The back of the car is a little wider than the front, so we want to, you know, let that stand out. Also, we got a nice two tone paint job going on here. This car is almost finished. Today was the deadline. Uh, it was a three week project. Normally it takes most shops realistically about two months to do the kind of upgrades and modifications that we've done to this vehicle. Um, so it's gonna be a, t a to be continued type of thing. We also added this uh, stylish sports roller on the back of it. Upgraded the lights to LED tail lights. Full body kit, as well as the lip kit, got going on down here. There's a custom Magnaflow exhaust, dual exhaust. This is a base model charger, so it actually absolutely came with nothing. It had car, interior, you know how it is. Take a look on the inside. Welcome to G-World. We got it going on with the ostrich and gray leather on the inside. We changed up the pattern just a little bit in the interior to make it look like it's a four-seater. You can actually fit five comfortably. Also, we did, this is an actual hood, a real working fiberglass hood. As the air goes into this vent, it gets with the K and N air filter that we installed underneath the hood. So you're getting direct cold air straight to the vehicle. Also, we upgraded the headlights with the HID projectors with the halos. The fog lights, they, they come factory, but they wasn't installed on this vehicle. We got some installed those. We did a slick minute style foam grill up and lower. Lowered the big just a little bit. Didn't slam it too much. Put like a one and a half inch drop in the front, two inch in the back. Let it sit nice on top of those two. For you guys that have a problem with, you know, a little bit of gap in the wheel well, if this is what you prefer, you can lower your vehicle for you. Um, also, Tim City, you want to show on the front here. It's a custom steering wheel that we got going on in here changed up everything with the steering wheel to match that and the accent and we did the pedals the racing pedals to give it that you know that Dodge Charger racing look we also installed the uh, performance chip so you can get better gas mileage as well as more performance coming out of the Vic all of this is stainless steel plates we customized and laid them out in the center console, did a Kenwood flip out DVD player, the full system, all my Kenwood. The slick design we did, we followed it back, dyed all of the plastics. All of these plastics have been dyed. This, this was all tan in here. So we actually dyed the plastics to match the interior. Hit them off with a nice suede headliner. Feels so nice and smooth. And then we followed into the back and suede it out the back pin, the back deck pin, the back deck lid. It's all nice and suede. There's a couple of more things and modifications that we're going to be doing to this vehicle. And that's going to be to be continued. Dodge Charger. This will be at the car shows this summer. So get ready. If you got a charger, step your game up. Or come down and see me. I will take care of you. And you can have something that looks just as hard as this. If not harder, depends on how hard you want to play. Now, I want to introduce you to one of the newest members of the G-Man Automotive team. A guy by the name of Tobin. Let's get you over here in front of this camera right here, Tobin. This is my main man right here. Tobin with the company for about three months, four months. 
And, um, you know, he's definitely the hardest working dude in G-Man Automotive. As you can see, today Sunday is our day off, supposedly. We're still here late, almost 9 o'clock, putting in this work. But this is what we do. So if you got anything you want to tell the people out there in TV land, you can let them know how we do this. So G-Man Automotive, we'll make it happen, baby. Come here, we take something out of nothing. Take nothing, make it something. Game up with some wins. That's how we do it. We also want to give a shout out to uh, Jerry over there at Exclusive for handling the body work for me. Jerry's a good dude. Definitely part of the G-Man family. And this came out excellent.